Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, and we're here for a Slimming World update and I have managed to get the corner of the bin into my shot just down there. I'm glad, now I'm pointing it to, out to you. If you hadn't noticed, you have now. That was silly, Caroline, wasn't it? So, Slimming World update. I'm filming this on Wednesday. I think it will probably go up at the weekend or possibly Friday. Um, on, not on a very good schedule at the moment with YouTube and kind of working on that. I'm hoping that by beginning of October I'll be in a position to get back into a schedule. Anyway, that's a complete aside. Slimming World update. This week I weigh in on a Monday. I kind of quite like weighing in on a Monday. I think it focuses your mind a little bit over the weekend, which can be a difficult time, can't it? Um, I lost two and a half pounds, so I've now lost 12 and a half pounds. I was pleased with that. I was, I did feel a little bit as if, oh God, two and a half pounds isn't enough, but I've got to get into the mindset that two and a half pounds is a good amount of weight to lose. That's fine. I've got to have a life as well. I've got, I've got to balance. It's a long-term goal. I've got to see this as a long-term project, not a quick fix. So sort of getting my head around that. I was chatting to Ashley, it's my husband, about it last night. And um, yeah, he was saying pretty much the same thing. You, you have to give yourself a bit of leeway into, if you just starve yourself and make yourself miserable and lose lots of weight the end result of that is not going to be a positive one is it i think we've all been there um so yeah two and a half pound loss total loss is now 12 and a half pounds i weighed i was carrying a big box of um, diet pepsi cans yesterday and i weighed it and it weighed about eight pounds i think it was i think it was about eight pounds yeah something like that anyway and i was carrying it and I thought, God, this is really heavy and I've lost more than this. And that was quite a nice feeling. So that sort of really helped think about the amount of weight I'd actually lost that I'm not carrying around with me all the time anymore. And that that was quite a substantial amount. So that was good. And somebody commented on last week's video that they make smaller goals for themselves and I've decided to look at it like that rather than see that number that's away there in the distance um, that doesn't really seem attainable or achievable or realistic at the moment. I need to break that down more and um, see it more as steps towards that so I'm going to break it down as my next target is the next stone number down type of thing so that that just feels more achievable to me although my overall goal is still the original number the sort of five stone loss approximately it was um having these smaller goals i think is going to make it good right what else did i want to talk about oh, how last week went it was it wasn't bad we had one night out it was a level results on thursday and william wanted to go out for italian food and it was a bit of a celebration he passed his a levels and got four b's in very difficult subjects that he took and is going to bath university to study chemistry that was his first university choice so we're all very pleased about that he's done really well um so yeah, that, we went out for Italian food. I had uh, stuffed mushrooms to start with, which came on a bed of salad. I avoided all the garlic bread and that sort of thing. I did have a pizza. I didn't eat it all. I ate about half of it, I think. Left the rest, didn't bring it home. So I could have been better, I could have been worse. I also had several glasses of wine. Um, so yeah, I, that it is what it is isn't it i'm not going to always be good that i've got to accept that but i did get back into it the next day straight back into uh, back on plan friday was on plan i had a couple of drinks on saturday night saturday night am i right in saying that yes i did have a couple of drinks on saturday night but again that was okay i accounted for that i didn't have any other sins that day so that worked out okay and then i had my two and a half pound loss which was good um this week is going to be a little more challenging i think i've been good so far but i'm going away with my friend overnight it's um 
tomorrow we're going to Cardiff for the night and there will be a lot of drinking of wine and gin and probably a lot of eating as well so I just have to work around these things and make sure I get back on plan. Um, finally before we get into the what I ate in a day part of this video I wanted to share with you a little slimming world success family wise is that um, I, I've been cooking various recipes from the Slimming World books and we've all been eating them. Some have gone down better than others. And um, I cooked one a couple of weeks ago from the new Take Five book. And it was this one, which is smoked salmon and chili spaghetti. It was really nice. I really enjoyed it. Ashley enjoyed it moderately. And William absolutely loved it. So much so that last week when I said, what shall I cook this week? William actually requested this recipe again so i was really pleased so if you've got this book try it because it's really nice and it's only five ingredients i love the simplicity of this new take five book i think it's absolutely brilliant um so yeah that was a little slimming world win he even asked me to show him how to cook it so he can cook it when he goes to university although i'm not sure how much smoked salmon he'll be able to afford on his um university <laughs> budget um Anyway, again, thank you for joining me. I'm going to go now and you'll get straight at, and let's get into the portion of the food portion of this video. Um, let me know if you like this style of video with the weekly update with the what I ate in a day on the end of it. If you did like it, please leave me a thumbs up. That gives me an idea of the sort of thing to film that you enjoy more of. Yeah, let's go and see what I ate. Good morning, this is today's breakfast. I am having Dorset cereal, simply delicious muesli, 45 grams of that is my healthy extra. A or B? B. B. It's B, isn't it? I had a momentary mental blank there. And that has been soaking in, soaking, is that the right word? In this Muller Light coconut with a hint of vanilla, which I really like this. Um, I usually like to do it overnight, but I forgot to do it last night before I went to bed. So I put the yogurt on the muesli first thing this morning, which is about an hour and a half ago. And um, hopefully it will have soaked up some of the yogurt. And then I've just got a sliced banana and some blueberries on the top of that. Right, it's time for lunch. Well, it's 25 to one and I fancy a pasta salad. So I'm going to put some pasta twists on to boil and then see what I've got in the fridge that I can put in it. Right, this is what I found for my pasta salad. This is my boiled pasta. I've just put, I've just drained it and put a big handful of spinach in with it while it's still hot to wilt. And then I have got, I've cooked some mushrooms. Um, I've got some sweet corn in a tin. I've got some tomato and cucumber, some beetroot, which I'm probably going to keep on the side because otherwise the whole thing will go pink and pink's all right but yeah I don't think I'm going to keep that on the side then I've got some baby corn and a bit of green pepper some grated carrot and two medallions of bacon which I fried with the mushrooms and chopped up small this is half a healthy extra a of parmesan so that's 15 grams of parmesan which I'm going to grate on the small side of the grater and just add in with it right now just to assemble it all Oh, this looks so good, I can't wait to eat it. That is slightly less than half, I would say, of that. I did add two tablespoonfuls of the Tesco Healthy Living Salad Cream for one sin each. Um, so, yeah, this has got about a quarter of my Healthy Extra A for the day with the Parmesan cheese and one sin worth of the salad cream and I've got a whole pasta salad for another day that I can put in the fridge. Winning at life here people, winning at life. I'm sitting at my desk and it's got to that time of the afternoon where I feel like I need a little snack. So I'm having a packet of these pom bears which are four sins and a ginger beer. Diet ginger beer obviously. It's about quarter to six and I was hoping to prepare this evening's dinner earlier on this afternoon it's a curry uh, but life got in the way and I didn't so this is what we're having it's sagalo which is basically potato curry it's from this fakeaways book um, it looks really nice a um, lot of ingredients in this one you need to have quite a well stocked spice cupboard 
Um, I haven't got black mustard seeds. I've only got normal coloured mustard seeds, so they will have to do. And it also calls for two red peppers, which I haven't got, so I've got my emergency frozen mixed peppers out of the freezer to use instead. I am just boiling the potatoes over there. That's the first step. And, um, yeah, I pro Ashley will probably have this with rice, but bearing in mind it's full of potatoes, I think I'm just going to have it by itself, otherwise it's like double carbs, isn't it? Um, I'm also not massively hungry. I've got a slightly weird stomach. Um, not been feeling at my best this afternoon. But never mind, that's enough of that. Um, I'm halving the recipe as well. It's a recipe for four. Will doesn't want any dinner tonight. He's out with his friends. So um, it's just me and Ashley, so I've halved the recipe. Although when I halve the recipes, we like a lot of spice. So I do tend to use the same amount of spices and chilli powders and what have you and um, just half the actual solid ingredients, if that makes sense. Right, I'm going to get to chopping. It smells really nice. I haven't even put all the spices in yet. Um, 500 grams of potato, which was half of the recipe, looked like way too much, so I've put this much in. That's my hand for reference. Um, and I had those two bits left over. You have to parboil them first, so I'm just going to pop those in the fridge to make some sort of potato salad or fried potatoes with breakfast or something one day. And here it is, the finished product, meal. I'm only having a little bit. I'm not massively hungry this evening. So um, yeah, it did cook down quite a bit. Um, it smells delicious. I have tasted it. It tastes very good. I've got a spoonful of Tesco 0% natural yogurt on the top. And that's some chopped coriander, which was slightly wet. Um, so that's why it's all sort of a bit clumpy, but it smells delicious. I'm looking forward to eating it. It's about eight o'clock. No, it might be half past seven, actually. It doesn't really matter anyway, does it? But I just fancied something sweet, and I've made myself an options white hot chocolate for two sins, and I've put ten mini marshmallows on the top for one more sin. It's been the first evening where it's felt a little bit cooler. And um, I thought a hot chocolate might be quite nice. So I am ending the day on five, four, five, six, seven, eight cents, which is okay. Happy with that. I feel like it's been quite a good day's food intake today. I've got two days coming up where I'm going away, so there's going to be quite a lot of drinking and eating. Although I will try and be good. So um, yeah, I'm going to go and drink my hot chocolate and then have a bath, I think. So thank you very much for watching guys. Again, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more of this type of content, please leave me a thumbs up or a comment. And um, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.